Hello everyone. This is not. We actually have about we, have, we almost we're almost running on empty. <laughs> Quite literally. We're at yeah, we're almost there. But as you can see it creeping up. Today we have a very fancy review. It's Perrier or Perrier <laughs> Perrier oh. Strawberry flavored Carbonated mineral water Mineral water Very refined Healthy Healthy Zero calories Zero carbs Zero sodium Zero worries True uh, And 40 milligrams of calcium Because of, of the minerals Yeah But um, Pinkies up very fancy. I had to break out the suit and I had to <laughs> dress it up a little and we got some strawberry colors over here. Hey. Strawberry. So before it gets too warm because okay. uh, uh, it already is pretty warm. Mm -hmm. Let's crack them open. Uh, Let's a very dignified and refined cheers my lady. Cheers sir. Pinky mm -hmm. up crack if I can do that. That's a little hard. Let's see. Ooh, that smells really nice. Ooh, it that sme smells like strawberry. The smell is like strawberry soda. Mm -hmm. And I know flavored waters aren't famous for their <laughs> overwhelming taste, like uh, La Croix. La Croix? Or uh, Bubbly. Mm -hmm. I do love Perrier. I've had it before, but never the strawberry edition. Uh -uh. So we know the smell is good. So good. <laughs> uh, let's pinkies up. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Very light strawberry flavor, but yeah. it is there. Mm -hmm. The strawberry flavor is there, and it's very pleasant. It's refreshing. I I could probably drink a whole case of these in <laughs> in one sitting. We did get a whole case. We did, yeah. But so. I I really like it. Yeah. For if you're a fan of flavored water, not the not the like soda e like clear water they uh, sometimes you go to the grocery store and they have like the little one liter bottle and it, it actually has flavor and it's sweetened with like artificial sweeteners and stuff mm -hmm. not talking about those if you like the sparkling mineral water the perriers the laquans you like the bubblies or even uh, arrowhead makes a really good mm. uh sparkling water this is really, really good. And I'm enjoying it very much. I will say that I personally, oh, we got a cameo in the back. <laughs> I will say that I personally prefer La Croix over Perrier because to me this, like. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm because not fluent in Francais. Not yet. You will be. Uh, je n'ai pas le Francais. Thank you. Uh, well. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's some, there's a certain taste to this that's really like like weird like a, I think it's just the Perrier like Good. it is I don't know maybe it's the calcium <laughs> maybe it's the minerals in it but I don't know I the other ones don't have that taste in it so I'm like thinking maybe it's the minerals in Perrier it. is a little more expensive than the other competitive brands I would say for a case of these it was something like four fifty or five dollars something like that. Jeez, I don't even remember. And all. for a case of uh, La Croix or Bubbly, they are like three, like three fifty something. something like that. I mean, this does say water captured at the I, source. I of prefer France. this to be honest. At the source in France. Because uh, other sparkling waters tend to leave sort of a weird taste in my mouth. Mm. I feel like it's like 
it's like kind of like baking soda or something like that. I think he's a super taster though. So mm. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> so to me, this tastes very pure, very. It does taste very pure, good. and the smell it smells really, really good. Like the smell alone makes it up there in the in the rankings for me. Man, this suit's hot. <laughs> it's like really warm. It's a bad choice. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think there's just something about it to me that I'm kind of like, either it's it's something that I have to get used to, like it's a it's an acquired taste, perhaps. Because I know, like, my mom loves this Perrier. I was never a fan of it, so I really didn't think that that I would like sparkling water in general. But I actually, really do like Lacroix and bubbly. So it's that's the only. I don't know what it is, but. It's not bad. I just would prefer like a strawberry LaCroix <laughs> over this. But it's, it's, it's fine. I yeah, I, bubbly is really good. I like the cherry bubbly. Maybe we'll do a video on that in mm. the future. But I honestly, I just really, I, I really enjoy the, the Perrier, the fanciness. And quite honestly, I, I do feel like the taste is a little bit more pure, and I know I've said that a couple times, so if I'm putting it up against the other ones, I think this gets the, the A+. Plus. I would give this a 9 out of 10 for me, for this, the smell. It smells really the good. The aroma, the, the flavors and the aromas. <laughs> savoring. I'm savoring each and every bit. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. I give it a thumbs up from me. It's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. But I wouldn't rate it as high, personally. I would give it like seven and a half to eight out of ten. Okay. No pressure from me. If you want to, if you want to trash it and, and give it a low grade and <laughs> no. then a thumbs down, by <laughs> no. all means. I'm not doing that. Listen to I'm you. Just saying, but. it's not that bad to me. It's just not what I would prefer. I'm gonna say seven and a half, just because I feel like. I like the other ones a little better. They're okay. cheaper. Maybe okay. I just have a cheap taste. Well, more for me. Oh, I don't. Yeah, more for you. More for you. Just a little side note. It says on the can, a French story since 1863 is what it says on the, the little label right right here. I don't know if you can read. Probably you can't. But <laughs> I want to hear the story. I want to hear if there's like some story of like, like uh, Jacques Perrier. I don't know. And, and his small sparkling water plant. I wonder. And and we're gonna look this in up. In Paris, France, in, in old Paris. <laughs> Paris. Paris. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. Maybe that's why it's called Paris. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't think that has anything to do with it. But um, another side note. Um, <laughs> we had a, a slight technical issue. So if there's a jump cut or anything, it seems if, if we shifted at all, it's it's because we had a slight camera issue, and we just needed to kind of collect ourselves a little bit. And um, I was telling the best story. Yeah, you were. Um, no, no, it wasn't that great. It was but, good. Uh, quick recap: the movie Spaceballs from the late '80s uh, by Mel Brooks. There's a scene where uh, they have, instead of Perrier, it's Perrier, and... It's canned air. It's canned air, so when I was smelling the strawberry aroma earlier, it kind of gave me a, uh, a flashback to that movie scene, and it kind of made me, like, kind of laugh internally, and... Because when he, he cracks it open, he takes a big whiff, and like... And I think it's... I think it's the mayor, actually. Uh, our President Scrooge. It's one of the... It's one of the higher ranking characters up there, but he's in his office and he like sneaks a <laughs> a whiff and it's really good. So that's all I wanted to add to this review. So when you smell it, enjoy enjoy the enjoy the air, the fresh air. Mm -hmm. And so that's all we have for you today. Uh, this has this has been the review. Of uh, some strawberry Perrier. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Pinkies up. Stay classy and 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 have have a have have a nice day. Yes. Have a good day. <laughs>
got a couple references in there. So, thank you. Thank you. See you later. Au revoir. Au revoir.